while the loader's warming up, I just thought I might read these few verses. So it's Romans 8, 5, and 6. It says, For those who live according to the flesh set their minds on things of the flesh, but those who live according to the Spirit set their minds on the things of the Spirit. For to set your mind on the flesh is death, but to set your mind on the Spirit is life and peace. The pad's a 45 by 65, but I mean, I might say it's 80 foot. 
80 foot long, 60 foot wide probably. I mean, I've got, I don't know, 15, 20 loads of dirt. Um, that's just junk. It's just junk topsoil. I guess I, those big pine trees back here, I don't know if it's stump holes, I, I guess is what it would be, but, and I've really about cut all the dirt out of, out of this side. Really, I was gonna flip this over here. And if it would have been, you know, like this grade right in here, I mean, I could, could have made that work, but I can't. So the reason I'm out here on Saturday is to, it just got too late yesterday. The fella didn't show up till like one o'clock to lay this thing out. So um, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to come back here and I'm gonna come right along, probably right along in here and dig a bar pit. Hopefully it's good dirt. I, I think it is, it's an old road bed. As you can see, it kind of cuts through the woods right up through there. Sorry, my, I'm not, I'm not good at filming. I'm not used to where to put my hands and show you, but yeah, it's an old road bed that cut through here. So I'm gonna do that and try to, try to uh, get this thing done pretty quick. I gotta go do another job, a side job. Some fella called me about last night after this. So it's grading the house pad as well with a, with a loader that he's rented or something. So.
so I've got all my dirt on my pad. Um, I've still got to, I'm going to go grab my laser real quick, set it up and shoot it and grade it flat. Um, I cut, man, I cut a big old daggum hole. I, I don't know. I cut probably 15 loads out, maybe. I mean, that's can't really see because of the shade but it's probably 12 foot deep down there at the bottom uh so what i'm gonna do is grade this pad flat and then i'm gonna come right here hopefully i can i don't have to carry all that topsoil back here to fill this hole i think i'm gonna come right here in front of the, the loader cut a swell coming off the pad and just tie all this all this back in right here um just kind of come from that tree line right there and just come back down to the swell. So we'll see. I really, really need to get out of here so I can go to that other job, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, I've got all this kind of halfway done. I'm gonna push all this stuff out and we're just gonna have to come back to the skid steer and, uh, and fix it later i mean it, it's close but it ain't gonna be perfect so um i'm just gonna do this and then i reckon i'm gonna get out of here
this thing's done finally. Golly, I didn't ever think I was gonna get it done today. Yeah, I know there's a bunch of roots and a bunch of roots and mess on the ground. We're gonna have a skid steer come next week. I might be doing, I don't know, and finish that driveway out. And so I'll, whoever it is will rake up all these roots and slick it up real good, but it's just quick and dirty way to get it ready for the rain. So hope y'all enjoyed.